And uh, the other item, if there's a problem with hearing, ringing in the ears, something of that nature, or an abnormality you've picked up on screening for hearing, then we could more specifically do the Weber and the Rene test. Again, we're going to use the tuning fork. And uh, these are crude bedside tests. They're not as accurate as audiometry, but they can give us a little more information uh, in the office. What I'm going to do is have you tell me how you're hearing or feeling the sound or the vibration from my tuning fork. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on your forehead at this point. So what I'd like you to do, close your eyes, and I'm going to put the vibrating tuning fork over the center of your forehead. Can you tell me, do you feel it more on the left or the right or both? Both. So it's both. Okay, and that'd be the normal response for the Weber test. The other test is the Rene test, and this is going to compare... Um, air versus bone conduction for hearing. We're going to do a similar test with the vibration by your ear. So what I'm going to do is strike the tuning fork. I'm going to put it on the patient's mastoid. And just turn your head a little that way behind her ear. Tell me when the vibration stops. This is bone conduction. No. And it's still vibrating. I can feel it. And if I put it by your ear, do you hear anything there? Yes. And she does. So this shows that air conduction of this sound is better than bone conduction, which is normal. And then I would likewise um, do it uh, testing the other ear with the Rene test. If there is any um, problem with the muscle stretch reflexes, again, we could test all of them with um, the patient seated like this. Uh, if they're leaning towards one side or tensing up, uh, there may be an asymmetry of reflexes, which may be more apparent than real. If the patient's put in a supine position, that eliminates some of the postural uh, problems there, and we could you know, really see if the reflexes are symmetrical or not. If it's difficult to see or elicit a reflex, we can uh, do a maneuver to try and bring them out, and a classic would be the Chandrasic maneuver. So if I'm trying to tap on the knee reflex here and I'm not getting anything, the